So your teacher has asked you to find the mean absolute deviation of a set of data. And you may have noticed that doing it by hand takes quite a bit of work. Um, you can use a graphing calculator to make it a little easier on yourself. So I'm going to show you how to do that on a TI-84 plus model, but this strategy does work on other models as well. Before we actually go through how to do it, let's talk about what mean absolute deviation is. It's a statistic that describes the spread of a data set. Um, it does this by calculating the average distance that each point is from the mean. So when we have just one data set, it doesn't tell us a whole lot, but it really gets to be useful when we have multiple similar data sets to see which ones are more spread out, which ones are more condensed. Now, in order to do it on the calculator, the first thing we need to do is turn the calculator on. Uh, that might be difficult for some of you, but it's this key right here. The next thing we are going to do is hit the stat key and then hit enter so that we're in our list screen, L1, L2, L3, and so on. These need to be cleared out. So if they're not cleared out, what you need to do is highlight the header. So see how my L1 is highlighted? Hit the clear key and hit enter, and that will clear the list completely. Now that we have a fresh list, I'm going to type these eight numbers in to this list. 58, 88, 40, 60, 72, 66, 80, and 48. Now, remember that mean absolute deviation, we need to find the difference between our list items and our mean of our list. So we're going to create a command for list two to do that work for us. So once we have all eight items entered here, we hit the right button and then hit up so that L2 header is selected and hit enter so that you see L2 equals in the cursor. The first thing we're going to do is get the list 1 marking there by hitting the second key and then the 1 key. You notice above the 1 key it has a little blue L1, so it types it out for us. And we want the difference, so we'll use the subtraction sign to use that operation. Now we need the mean of list 1, so we're going to hit second and the stat button above it says list. We're going to hit the right arrow twice to get to math. Then you notice the third option is mean. We're going to select that. And we want the mean of list one. So we hit second one again, close parentheses, and hit enter. And now we have a list of each of these values subtracting the mean. Okay, the mean is 64 here, just in case you were curious. After that, now we need to take the absolute value of this list. So we're going to ask list three to do that for us. We're going to highlight the header, hit enter so that's down at the bottom. We're going to hit the second key, and then you notice above zero it says catalog. Catalog is a list of every command your calculator can do. This can be a very useful tool. If you notice the first one is ABS, that is short for absolute value. Hit enter, and we want the absolute value of list two, so we hit second and the two key because above it it says L2 in blue. Close it, hit enter. So now we have the absolute deviation list right there, but we want the mean of that. So in order to find the average of this, we're going to exit to the home screen by hitting second quit. We're going to hit second and then our stat key for our list again. We're going to hit the right arrow twice to math. We're going to take the third option, mean again. And we want the mean of list three. So this time we're going to hit second and then the three key. Close parentheses and enter. So our mean absolute deviation for this list of eight numbers is 12.5. Again, for this to really mean something, we should do another similar data set to compare the two. But now that you know how to do one, you can do two.